We're going to talk now about innovation, managing limited water resources during a drought and running a business during a pandemic. It's a story many are familiar with across multiple industries. This one involves golf and the success of Dairy Creek Golf Course in San Luis Obispo. It's recently been recognized by the State Association of Counties for Innovation and Land Management. Josh Heptig is the golf superintendent for San Luis Obispo County. He's with us now live via Zoom. Josh, before the pandemic, Dairy Creek had its water supply cut, so the golf course had to go from 18 down to nine holes. Yet I understand you're now getting two and three times the amount of people out to the facility. How'd you do it? You know, we got Delta Lemons, so we had to make some lemonade. So we, we created, we inter, interacted with a lot of the public, had a lot of public forums, focus groups, determine what the community told us is what they would like to use for the facility. Golf was still going to be a focus. We've still got nine really great holes of golf out there and a fantastic practice facility. We're now the home to men's and women's golf team for Cal Poly. Um, their coaches' offices and, and team lockers are in our on our facility. Um, and then we added top tracer range as one of the things. So future additions are going to be coming to it. We've got zip lines soon on the works. We've got some camping structures that are going to be out there, miniature golf, zip lines, um, some electric go-karts is in the plans as well. And then ultimately we want to be able to be a, a hub to try and get people up for mountain biking and hiking up through the West Quest of Great up into the, the National Forest. Wow, that all sounds very exciting. When can people expect some of some of the new stuff that you're talking about? You know, zip lines and camping structures, uh, those are probably going to be within the next six to 12 months. Um, miniature golf and go-karts, we had those projects ready to go before COVID hit. When COVID hit, uh, a lot of our parks had to shut down. So we allocated, reallocated those funds to help us uh, make, you know, make ends meet during the pandemic. Um, now that that's been, you know, things have kind of gotten back to normal. Um, so we hope to anticipate to be able to reallocate some funding back to those two projects here very soon. Don't have a real good timeline on that. Well, in the meantime, you have this top tracer that I understand do people need to get reservations for. It's really filling up. You know, golf has been described by some as a good walk spoiled. I suppose here we're getting rid of the walking, throwing in some couches, some chicken wings and French fries and TVs and beer and everybody's loving it. Absolutely. Then mix in some uh, glow in the dark targets and targets that light up and change colors at night when you hit the shots out towards them. So it's, it's a lot of fun. So the best way I can describe it is is a mix between a driving range, a sports bar, a bowling alley and a pinball machine. So we have all ages, all ranges, all skill levels, all lots of non golfers coming out to the facility, just enjoying the entertainment value associated with it. You got TVs, big screens, and everything else to watch whatever TV game, football show, or put football game TV show that you might be able to watch on satellite dish TV. Uh, we got the Super Bowl going to be going on this upcoming Sunday in there, and a special event happening that night. So lots of different options. It's a great tool to learn how to play golf. You've got some mechanisms and, and tools within the system to help you build your game, improve your game, and then lots of other games that people, that if you're non-golfer, um, grandparents, parents, adults, date nights, it's a great place to come and hang out. We've got heat. It's a heated environment. You're actually hitting golf balls out actually onto a range. The sun sets behind Hollister Peak every night. Uh, just a spectacular place to come and spend some spend some time with family and friends and, and enjoying the, all that the Central Coast has to offer. Really sounds like nothing but fun. And I've done these virtual golf courses that are typically indoors. You hit into a screen, but that gorgeous view that we see there really looks like it can't be beat. Twenty to fifty dollars an hour for a group of four, depending on your time of day. And you guys are open late, so congratulations on the success there at Dairy Creek. Josh Heptig, thanks for joining us today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, guys.